Jeez! That's an angry mummy! Mummy, not mummy. Trailer for a game that's apparently promising from 11 hours ago. It has, wait, it has 200 views. All right, what is that about? The art style looks good. It kind of reminds me of uh, some of like the more serious games. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Reverse 1999. All right, what is this about? The Legend of Tower that reached the heavens. So it's a Chinese game. Oh, shit. Do the models? Oh, the, the camera is way too shaky. Inside the tower lies a library that holds all the answers in the world. Ooh. The beacon is awakening. Jeez! That's an angry mummy! Mummy, not mummy. You fell from the heavens to the Memphis River. Memphis? Boat? Um. How do we get to say? Hey! Okay, so it's action combat. Kind of reminds me of PGR. The way it looks. I feel like the, the stages are probably... Yeah, it's really reminiscent of PGR. It seems to be one of those games. Hmm. I don't know if that's really... If I'm really interested in that. I feel like I, I want something a bit more special, you know? From Ming Zhou? Coming, coming soon. Okay, interesting. What do we have here? As the tale has been told for a long time, the standard tower that reached towers to the heaven. Inside the tower lies the library that holds all the entire world, wherever you will find everything we, but nothing you seek. You can already pre register. Okay. Looks like another Hoyo Yo Star Kuro type game, and I'm not mad. Fun fact the game is being developed by former Kuro Games employees. That might be why it looks like PGR. If you go on the official website and look at some of the characters that aren't shown in the trailer, you'll see some characters that clearly took inspiration from PGR, like Vera and Karenina. Okay. Tap tap. What's their official website? I want to see. It's called Black Beacon. Let's have a look at this real quick. Black Beacon official website. Okay. Let's have a look here. I'm curious. Uh, Pre-register coming soon. We have some pre-register rewards here. Um, unveiled the Enigma. So we've had some news. Uh, in the past three months, essentially, but not too much. Oh, character design. Character zero. A guardian of the library of Babel, who, with origin shrouded in mystery, she is taciturn and indifferent to worldly matters, often seen with a golden eye, eight petal flower tucked behind the ear. The teaching of Cosmos in the library. Okay. Okay. Shamash. Viola. Man, Viola looks awesome. Edishan, too. Okay. Oh, there's more. Enki. Eh. Oh, wait. Who's that lady? Ninsar? I want to see Ninsar. Okay. Florentine. So that was the entirety of Eme An. Now we have Florentine with Florence and Asti. Oh, they look great. Florence di Cosimo de Florentine is a member of the Cardinal Court in the Holy Cardinal Nation of Jeffes. Okay, Wei Shi. So those are like the Chinese character. Xing, King, Xin, Ming, Azi, and Wu Shi. Wu Shi. Alright, looking good. Delphic Oracle, Logos, a student of the Delphi Academy. I mean, some of the character design looks great. Uh, here we can see some pictures of the world Vision, the Library of Babel, Emean, World Era. Oh yeah, oh this so this is literally like Babylon, right? Like the the entire like tower that's literally going into space. Oh, unknown sector, Weishu, Road of No Return. 
Okay, these stuffs look pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the trailer didn't show too much. Find traces through time, quest through the library, dominate the battlefield, defeat the conspiracy, expel the spirits, slay the gods. Classic. No gods, all greats. What's the final boss? God. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that does look pretty interesting. I'm gonna wait for a bit more news, because, like, I mean, the trailer didn't look bad, but it looked a little bit bare bone to some extent. It kind of looked like PGR, but not necessarily the... I feel like no way they, if I want a game that kind of is more uh, arcade in its levels, as in like you go into the level and it's very straightforward, it's like you go, you fight monster, you walk in the corridor, then you fight more monster, more corridor, more monster. Um, I think PGR is kind of old school in that way. And I'm not saying that this type of gameplay is bad, but I feel like a game like ZZZ um, is definitely more polished in that extent. Uh, in that um, domain, I guess. Um, so I think like making a game that is pretty much very similar to PGR um, needs to have something a bit more interesting for people to, you know, drop those games and and get into something new. But I'm definitely interesting, interested. Sorry, and I'll definitely keep an eye on this one because I think the uh, the world, um, the world building. Like, the, the, the premise of it looked very interesting. And I think the character design is obviously very good. So, uh, I will keep my eyes peeled for this, for sure. So, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. I, I, I'm curious to, to know. Because uh, that does look pretty interesting. It's interesting that they already show what, like, the pre-register rewards will be. Even though the pre-registration is not open yet. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Damn, okay. Uh, actually, they did have a... There was like a... They have a Twitter account, right? So let me know. Black B... Be... Let me see, sorry. Black Beacon. Let me check the Twitter, see if they posted anything recently. Uh, that is worth mentioning. Uh, see that tower standing on the beacon to the heaven? Uh, that's a trailer we just saw, right? Yeah, that's the only post they have. So it's very, very new. Okay, so nothing much there uh, for now, but definitely got to keep an eye on it for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, it seems to be action combat uh, kind of gameplay, which is, I mean, it's never, it, it, it's, it, it's interesting. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated if you have more news regarding this game. And uh, yeah, we'll see. But like, there's so many games coming out lately. Uh, like the, this past months and the upcoming weeks, we are getting so many new games. It's going to be hard to, you know, play all of those. So we're going to have to be a bit more uh, selective regarding what we uh, add to what we play daily, right? So, um, yeah, I, I'm starting to be a little bit more picky with my games. But, uh, I mean, the gameplay does look pretty good. So, hopefully, we don't get disappointed there. And, uh, yeah, cheers.